And Judd, whenever you're here, we talk about the latest in music mm -hmm. news. We talk about what celebs are making news. And we're going with an Earth Day theme today. Yeah, there's a lot of, I mean, I think a lot of people are very Earth conscious now. I mean, I'm, it's so, so easy to kind of really be Earth conscious. It doesn't really take a whole lot to toss the cans in the recycling bin, recycle the papers, uh, you know, be smart with your driving. And I think the celebrities are see how easy it is and are a great kind of mouthpiece to show how easy it can be and how it really doesn't take a whole lot of effort to live green. That's right. We have a lot of A-listers that make it such a big part of their personal platforms and the media that they, they mm -hmm. do to spread the word about some of the uh, charities and foundations that they're involved in that help the earth. Number one that I always think of is Leonardo DiCaprio. He's yeah. very involved. He started the Leonardo DiCaprio, DiCaprio Foundation in 1998. It's dedicated to protecting, protecting Earth's last wild places and fostering a harmonious relationship between humanity and the natural world. He's also very into the clean water movement. Yeah, he he, he uh, maintains a blog, I was just reading it, LeonardoDiCaprio.org, um, and he talks about a lot of different things. He just posted a story actually this morning about Earth Day, and uh, a new $3 million oceanography thing his foundation was going to do. Yeah. Um, but he's very into it. I know he's he's one, I think he showed up to one of the big award shows in a hybrid limo this past time. Yes. So, so I, th I think he, that was him that did that. So I think uh, he's definitely one of those people that shows, you know, I can roll up in a hybrid limo. You can, you know, be a little bit more self-conscious about everything too. And I find it interesting that he started his foundation in 1998. That's right when he was getting famous. Titanic came out in 1997, so he wanted to do this right away. This was yeah. something that he must have had a passion for. Well, and for I think a it shows time. that it's genuine. It's not mm -hmm. just a thing that you know somebody paid him to do this, or you know now, yeah, now I'm obligated to do this. Now I'm famous. Clearly, this is something he cared about long before really the fame of you know everyone knew who he was. So that's kind of good to see too. Yeah, for sure. Our next one that we're talking about is Jessica Alba. She's also been the news recently for her charitable efforts. She's the owner and creator of the environmentally driven retailer, The Honest Company. It provides information on eco-friendly products, healthy living strategies, and tips on how to maintain a clean diet. They also sell eco-friendly products for parents. So she involves her children in her campaign. Yeah, I think that's great, too. And the whole thing that she, everyone looks at her for being such a fashion icon as it is. Right. The fact that she can show that you can be fashion conscious and be green at the same time I think is a great message. Absolutely and she has her two children like we said to help involve parents may think I don't have time or the money or I, I don't have the resources to learn about living a green lifestyle mm -hmm. with my whole family so Jessica Alba look into her foundation if you're interested in that. Also Bradgelina they are just yep. the do-gooders of Hollywood. They are they are the do-gooders and they they do so much charity work even beyond the environmental scope of things they they are huge charity people um, which is great and uh, all their efforts I think are really, I think that the charity aspect of the going green is one of the big things that they do. That's right. Brad Pitt's Holy Cross project, that started in 2006. He pushed for the redevelopment of New Orleans after the devastation of Hurricane Katrina and the development of a zero energy affordable housing development. He also has the Make It Right Foundation that was founded in 2007 and has since gone on to build energy efficient green homes for uh, communities in need. So not only is he helping people get homes, but they are environmentally mentally conscious too so two birds one stone yeah he's done a couple TV show specials and and movie specials documentary things about going green too which is always nice all right that's our Earth Day motivation for you if